In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a clone stamp tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Inspiration Clan. We're going to be looking at the clone stamp tool today. So the first thing we want to do is open up our stock image. We want to come in and just open up retouch stock one. That will give us our image, this, this guy who's in the gym, obviously training. Um, we can see we've got our background image. So first things first, I'm just going to duplicate the layout. It's a good habit to get into to ensure that you always have an original copy within your documents. If you make a mistake, you can always return to the original. The next thing we're going to do is select the clone stamp tool. So over here on the left in the tools uh, bar, tools menu, we're going to click on clone stamp. You will see that the options change at the top. Now the clone stamp is a brush, so we have same similar options as the brush tool. So you've got opacity, flow, um, and you've also got sample here. I want to talk a little bit about sample. So we have options here, sample, current layer, current and below, or all layers. Now to us, we only have this one one layer, so we just want to sample the current layer, that's fine. But if you have a document, say with 50 layers, you may want to sample all of those layers. So just make sure this is uh, on the correct setting before you start editing. So I'm just going to go ahead and select current layer. And then to get our brush ready for the, the clone stamp, for the edit, I just want to mention that you can increase and decrease the brush size using the open and close brackets on your keyboard. This is very handy when you're coming in and making changes, you can just quickly change size. It's a, a very popular shortcut to use and when you're using the brush tool. So that's our tool all set up. I'm just going to right click and make sure the hardness is set to zero. We've got opacity at 100 and we've got flow at 100. So that's perfect. I'm just going to click on the zoom tool and I'm just going to click to zoom in. So we want to remove this text and we want to remove the design in the center of the t-shirt. Whenever you're using the clone stamp tool, you want to produce a realistic result. So here, for example, we need to make sure that we keep these shadows the highlights and the shadows on the shirt. So there's creases within the t-shirt. So we just want to make sure that we preserve uh, those details and the highlights and shadows. So I'm going to start by removing the text on the right over here. I'm just going to click on the clone stamp tool. You'll see we have our brush. The brush is too large. I'm going to use a close bracket on the keyboard to reduce the brush size. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt on my keyboard. And you will see straight away that the cursor changes to a target. Now what this means is that is the target area. So when we clone an area, this is the area we're going to clone. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to move down and I'm going to click again. And then you can see we now have a, this crosshair above, the little X, that's showing us the area that we're sampling. And then we're going to brush that area over this area. So you can see we are cloning the area above to remove the text. Now you can hold down Alt and sample a new area. Now I'm sampling down below this text. Release Alt and click again and you can see the area that we are sampling. And there you go. That is how you remove the text. That area was quite simple because there's, there's no shadows and highlights here. So that is removed. Whenever you are performing these edits and removing um, parts of an image or objects from an image, you always want to zoom out and you want to check that the image looks good uh, when you look at the whole picture. So I'm just going to turn that on and off and you can see, yep, that's looking good. You can maybe see there's a little dot here, this one, which looks like a clone. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. So I'm just going to hit Alt here. I'm just going to remove that slight dot, zoom back out. And then you can see, yep, looking great. Okay. So now we're going to remove this text in the, in the bottom, right? Uh, and this time we have some shadows, so we need to we need to consider how we're gonna do this. So you can see there's this shadow here, which wherever there's shadow, there is always a highlight. So the highlight's just to the right, and the same over here. So we need to make sure we preserve those. So I'm gonna come up to the top here, select all, click, move my cursor down, the brush down, and I'm just gonna drag across that there. So you can see that as I'm dragging across, you can see we've accidentally pulled in some of the this design, but we can remove that later, so there's no problem. So I'm going to click lower down around here, and then I'm going to drag across, and you can see that we preserve the highlights and the shadows. So just cross, draw across it all. 
go back across the same area make sure you get all the details and then I'm just going to remove this little detail here that we accidentally pulled in I'm going to zoom out if it's a screen and I'm going to make sure that that is looking good so you can see we've preserved the highlights and the shadows you could maybe say there's a little part here in in the shadows here that we could improve so again you can just drag your brush maybe make it a bit bigger so it's a bit more blended hold down all there you go that's that area removed so I'm going to go ahead and do the same over on this bit of text on the left. This one has an even darker shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the shadow and the highlights first. So I'm going to select my brush, small, uh, decrease the size, hold down Alt, click, and then I'm just going to click in this area here. And now I'm going to go up above, hold down Alt, click. You can see when you're sampling the result, so it makes it nice and easy for you. So again, hold down Alt, click there. This time I'm going to come down below and I'm going to click so you can see we're preserving the shadow and again preserving the shadow. With that done, with the shadow and the highlights done, I'm just going to come and remove the bulk of this text, come up above it, come up above it here, and there we go. Do the same over here on the text. We want to make sure we keep this shadow over here. And then again, remove the bulk of the text. Okay, so let's zoom out and take a quick look how that is looking when we view the whole picture. Looking good. Okay, so that is how you, you perform the clone stamp, the edit. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this, um, this design and the text, remove the rest of, of these elements and I'm going to speed up the video so you can watch. Okay, so as you can see, I've completed the edit. I've removed the text and the design from the t-shirt. It now just looks like our, our guy has a plain gray t-shirt on. I'm just gonna go ahead and flick the layer on and off and you can see that it's been perfectly removed. We've also maintained the highlights and the shadows and the creases within the shirt, within the t-shirt. So that is how you use a clone stamp tool. Thank you for joining us in this lesson. I will see you in the next one.